Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode six of Kitchen Quarantine. My name is Glenn, one of the sous chefs here at the beautiful Kings Peak Country Club. Today, chef is doing another beautiful dish, uh, a shrimp and pasta dish for you. And without any further ado, chef. Hi, how are you? Welcome back. Uh, today I want to do uh, a quick and easy pasta that you can duplicate at home. Uh, for today's pasta, I, I have, uh, I'm, just, I'm gonna do like a little surf and turf type pasta. I've got some andouille sausage here, and I've got some shrimp. I've got some green peas, some bell peppers, red and green. And I'm gonna go with a, a penne pasta. I have some fresh basil, some fresh garlic. But what I wanna do is I wanna make this really, really simple. You can duplicate it home, it goes very, very fast. Okay, there's endless combinations of pasta that you can do. I have chosen andouille sausage, which is a, it's a Cajun spicy sausage, okay, and I have some gulf shrimp here as well, okay, uh, and I have six. Uh, gulf shrimp, they're peeled, the veins, and the tail are off, okay, and uh, what I've done is I've, uh, I've par cooked a few peas here, and I've par cooked my pasta just in the interest of time. What I want to do is... Uh, you can use, um, I'm going to use penne today, but you can use linguine, any string noodles, spaghetti, vermicelli, it doesn't really, really matter. Okay, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to get a nice hot pan here, and I want to saute, I want to caramelize my andouille sausage. Okay, and I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to get that nice and hot, but I don't want it smoking, I want it hot so I can sear it, but not part of the sausage. So here we go. Alright, you can see that already, nice and Alright, back on the heat again. Now, normally when I make pasta, I use a lot of red pepper flakes. But today I'm not going to do that because it's occasional. It only has, it already has some of the pepper flakes in this particular sauce. So I have to be careful with the uh, amount of heat and pepper I use in this sauce. Okay? Alright, see it's starting to caramelize. Now it's starting to cook. By caramelize, I bring out the natural flavors of the sausage. Okay? Alright, now, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to add my shrimp. Okay? I'm going to let that sear again. And at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. I've got to be, there's quite a bit of garlic in this sausage as well, so I don't want to go crazy. Again, garlic is optional. You don't have to use garlic. Now, I want to sear this on this side. Do not turn your heat down if you feel it's too hot. I'm going to sear this sear the shrimp right now. Again, caramelize with the sauce the shrimp. Okay. So, at this point now, I want to add in my peppers. Okay. I'm going to salt it after getting. As you can see, that uh, my shrimp are still translucent, they're still a little bit on the raw side. But during the cooking process, they will cook right through. Alright, so now, we get the nice caramelization with the shrimp, the peppers, the garlic, and all the natural flavors are coming through. It's got a wonderful aroma at this point. I wish you could, uh, I wish you could smell it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of fresh basil too. And this is optional. It doesn't have to be basil. It could be, parsley. Yeah, it could be parsley. It could be chives, green onions, scallions. It doesn't matter. Again, as I said, I'm using andouille sausage. It could be Italian sausage. It could be scallops. It doesn't have to be this particular combination. But I love this combination. It starts to look good. All right. So now when I turn the heat down, I'm still caramelizing, but I'm not burning it. So I'm going to bring up. I'll let that cook through a little bit. Now. I have, uh, I have par cooked these peas. It doesn't have to be peas, it could be broccoli, it could be anything. I'm going to use some peas today. And as I say, they're pretty much cooked. I've just got to heat those through. At this point, I'm going to, I got all the natural flavors in the pan. I want to deglaze this a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little bit of white wine. This happens to be Chardonnay. Give me a mind. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit more now. Okay. So I just want to 
just want to check my seasoning here now a little bit. I just want to see how everything tastes and how everything is coming together. Oh, very good. Be careful again with the pepper. It's very good because you got a spicy sausage. I am, I am going to add in a little bit of salt, just a hair. All right, now, see the way everything is coming together nicely at this point? My shrimp are actually almost cooked. They're very, very close to being cooked. At this point, I'm going to add in my um, pasta of my choice, which I, today I have, I've got penne. As I say, you could be adding pasta. Now, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Okay, I'm just going to cook that up. We'll cook that through a little bit. At this point, you could. You could make that into a cream sauce if you want it by adding some heavy cream. And I'm just reducing it down. You could add some red sauce if you prefer red sauce. But I just want, I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is right now. I'm going to add a little bit more white wine. Okay. What I am going to do, and it's going to help me bind it together, I, I love Parmesan cheese, so we're going to add a little bit more Parmesan cheese. Okay? But if you want to keep it dairy free, just keep the, uh, keep the cheese out. It's optional. See the way it's all coming together right now? I'm just going to give this one quick taste now, and I think if everything's good, we're going to... Oh yeah. I love that. Now, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and make this. So I say this is very simple, very quick. Now, here we go. Now that looks good. Just as I turn off my heat now, is a little finishing touch here. What I'm going to do is I am going to add a little bit more cheese. Just a little. It's a matter of personal preference. I'm going to put a little bit sprinkle of fresh basil and a nice drizzle of fresh extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and that's it. That's a, a quick and simple, easy pasta done at home, andouille sausage, and andouille sausage and shrimp. The combinations are endless. I hope you can duplicate this at home and enjoy that. Enjoy. Thank you Thank very you, much. Sir. Thank you.